In this video, I'm going to show you the workflow for aligning a freestyle control mesh to external curves and edges in Creo 3. We will review common warnings that appear during this process and the steps required to successfully complete the alignment. First, I'm going to demonstrate the process in an ideal situation where we have curvature continuous geometry. In this case, this boundary blend. Let's edit the freestyle feature and first delete this face so we can align using the tangent option. I will select the right side of the control mesh and click align. I select the first edge and notice Creo prompts me to hold the shift key to select additional edges in the chain. I can now middle click to align the entity. I can zoom in and right click on the connection icon. Notice I can choose position, tangent, or normal position as the connection type. Tangent is available because I'm using curvature continuous geometry. Let's unlink and see what happens when we do not use curvature continuous geometry. Again, I will select the right side of the control mesh and choose a line. I select the first edge and notice if I accidentally hover over the freestyle feature, Creo warns me that any references must be older than this current freestyle feature, ID 436. So let's hold shift and attempt to select the boundary. Notice the selection is not possible and Creo warns me that the reference chain must be curvature continuous. So in this case, let's cancel and create a curvature continuous approximate curve. We can do that by selecting one edge, holding shift, and selecting the boundary. If you get a one by one selection, you can tap the right mouse button to get the tangent loop option. We left click and select copy paste. I'm going to choose approximate so I get a continuous curvature spline. Let's drag this copy feature above the freestyle feature so we can reference it. To select my curve copy, I'm going to tap the right mouse button and left click. Now I can middle click to align the entity. Now when I right click the connection icon, Notice tangent is not available because I do not have true curvature continuous geometry. In this case, the normal position option will suffice as it will still update to any changes made to my boundary blend. 